Hey guys, Franklin Woodworks here. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. There's not going to be any fancy editing or any music or anything like that because today I feel like a genius and I don't think I need any props uh, to get through this. Uh, now in this series, you've heard me say over and over again about uh, making stupid mistakes, uh, doing things out of order, and uh, overcoming all those things and coming up with solutions to uh, make things work out. Well, uh, one of the most satisfying things as a novice woodworker is coming up with something that solves a problem. Uh, coming up with a jig that you've never seen before um, that does something you really need it to do. And um, today's one of those days. So today's problem is this. I've already got the body glued to the neck. Um, now this being my first bass and it's also a six string bass on top of that, I am very worried and nervous about the string tension and whether or not the neck is going to be able to withstand that over time, whether or not the truss rod uh, is going to be able to counteract that uh, in the long haul. So what I've decided to do is to put in carbon fiber rods to uh, give it strength. Now these are the rods and they are an eighth of an inch thick, three eighths of an inch tall, uh, flat. They're not very strong but on edge they're stronger than steel and uh, they're very light. They're not going to add any weight uh, to the neck at all. But the problem is the body is already attached to the neck. So how am I going to route the channels that this is going to go in? Well, here's my solution. I made a base plate for my trim router. I cut a dado in it and I have a piece of wood here that's the exact thickness of my truss rod channel. So it's going to use the truss rod channel as a guide, so it's going to be dead straight, it's going to be dead parallel to the, um, to the truss rod. Now, this is asymmetrical, so I'm not going to be able to um, complete the cuts as is. So I'm going to do one side as far as I can go, flip it over, do the other side as far as I can go, because I'm going to put in two, one on each side of the truss rod. Then I'm going to have to move this to the other side of the, um, of the router bit so that I can complete the cuts. But because the only thing I'm doing is moving this, this is going to stay exact and it's going to be dead perfect. So this is going to be a one take kind of deal. Um, it's got to work. It has to. Otherwise I'm in trouble. So. Uh, even though I feel like this is my um, stroke of genius, I'm still going to need some luck. So here we go. Okay, here we go. There you go. That is pretty nice. I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> 